I'm Father Joe from Mepkin Abbey. I'm the cook here at the Abbey. And I'm here today for postandcourier.com. And we're going to prepare red and white bean casserole. I love this casserole. It's light with a lot of lemon, so it's great for this time of the year. So the first part of this casserole for red and white beans is sauteing leeks, carrots, and celery. It takes a lot of each. And of course, vegetables are so good for you. So I've chopped them up, three leeks and four carrots and four stalks of celery. And they're going to just fry up in this fry pan. And we'll let that go for a bit. Then I'm going to add some garlic and white wine. And in a moment, we'll have the best aroma with the white wine sautéing with these vegetables. And we're going to let that cook just a minute. Just enough to let the wine reduce a bit. Then we're going to add tomatoes and lemon. So as the tomatoes are cooking in the vegetables and white wine, I'm going to zest a lemon and put the lemon zest in it, which just gives it the nicest flavor to this. And it smells divine, really. And then I'll put the lemon juice in a little bit later, once that all kind of cooks together. Watch your fingers when you're zesting a lemon. So I'm going to put in the lemon zest in. Let that cook with the tomato and reduce a little bit more of the white wine. And as that's cooking, I'm going to put in um, the beans. I put a, a half a cup of cannellini beans or white Great Northern white beans and a half a cup of pinto beans. And that's where we get the red and white bean casserole from. And we put in a quarter of a cup of chicken stock to add to the sauce. And we'll let that simmer till it reduces to this wonderful combination. Lastly, I'm going to put in some oregano to taste. So whatever your taste is for oregano. And majorum. Salt and pepper. And finally, we're going to squeeze the juice from, from the lemon. One lemon's enough for this recipe. And that really tops it off. And I'm going to put it right into the dish. Nothing like the smell of a fresh lemon juice, I'll tell you that. And. This is cooking up really nice. A wonderful accompaniment to a meal, or a meal in itself, because it's really nutritious with the beans and vegetables, and lots of protein in the beans. So I recommend it to you. Our casserole has simmered down. The, the liquid is uh, reduced, and our casserole is done. So here we have it, red and white bean casserole with cannelloni beans and pinto beans. Enjoy this wonderful dish. I'm Father Joe at Mepkin Abbey for postandcarrier.com.